In Australia's strategic top end, a Chinese company with links to the People's Liberation Army enjoys control of Darwin's main port. We're very excited about the long-term potential of Northern Australia. The half a billion dollar deal was unveiled by the Northern Territory government in 2015. Lambridge has been appointed as the operator of the Darwin port uh, for the next uh, 99 years. The controversial decision was waved through by the then Turnbull government, catching the United States by surprise. There are very few things we disagree with. Mark. Over the past eight years, Beijing's stake in Australia's most northern port has caused alarm in sections of the national security community. And they've in effect mortgaged the security of generations of Australians because of that selfishness. Hey. Two years ago, the Morrison government ordered a review of the deal and its security implications. Now the Albanese government has announced it won't scrap the agreement, declaring it's satisfied there is a robust regulatory system in place to manage risks. We must ensure that all contractual uh, arrangements and security arrangements are as good as they possibly can be. The problem should be fixed, not kicked down the track. It's going to be harder to fix it in the long run than fixing it now. Continuing uncertainty over Darwin Port has been a key irritant for Beijing in its diplomatic standoff with Australia. The decision to not scrap the deal, along with this month's release of Australian prisoner Chung Lei, paves the way for Prime Minister Anthony Albanese to soon travel to the Chinese capital as he works to stabilise relations with this country's largest trading partner. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.